blessings everyone and welcome to body rhythms it is absolutely gorgeous out here today um, and so today I wanted to talk about aging or should I say anti-aging is it possible to reverse the uh, aging process is it possible to slow it down most definitely most definitely and uh, today that's what we're going to talk about um, the life expectancy here in the U.S., uh, last I checked with the CDC, Center for Disease Control, is about 78.8. So that means that the average American lives to be about 79 years old. Not very long, depending on where you are uh, now. But um, in parts of the world, there are many people who are living to be 100 years old. And um, also here in, in, our, in our area, more and more people are living to, to, to closer to 100 years old, but not as many as could be. And uh, it's very simple, the, the ways that they're doing it, the common denominators that these people share are, are the very, very simplest things. The first thing that they share is um, uh, their diet, the nutrients that they're consuming whole foods. They consume a lot of vegetables and fruits, beans, legumes, things like that. Mostly a plant protein based diet. Uh, they consume very little, if any at all, um, meat proteins. Uh, meat is okay for your system, but it really isn't great for your system. Our bodies have to work a little extra to digest them and assimilate them into proteins that we can use. So it is a little more taxing on the, on the system. Um, the next thing is, is adequate hydration. I can't stress enough how important it is to be adequately hydrated. And not with sodas, not with caffeine. Caffeine is a diuretic. It, uh, it doesn't satisfy your thirst. It actually promotes more thirst. And uh, it doesn't help your organs at all. And it, it gives you no nutritional value. It's mostly sugar. So you're, you're most likely to, to gain weight than anything. Uh, you'll gain weight before you get uh, have your thirst satisfied. And then that brings me to the next thing, weight maintenance. Um, the people that are living to be older are not so, so thin. And they're also not so, so big, so that they're almost right in the middle. If you're not sure, you know, what is in the middle for you, they have the body mass index. And that just lets you know for your height, for your gender, for your age, around about where your body should be. Um, maintaining adequate weight helps your organs. When there's too much weight on your organs, your organs have to struggle um, to, to do their job because there's, there's more weight on them. Your limbs have to struggle to walk because there's more weight on them. So you want to strive for, you know, what is your adequate BMI. We can go into um, the body mass index and later on in the series, but um, maintaining your weight, as if you maintain and follow a whole foods diet, should be a lot easier. And um, as you get older, you know, we slow down and, and our muscle mass is, is more replaced with fat so that you, you don't really need to eat as much. So while we're slowing down, sometimes people don't slow down how much they consume. So you want to, you know, keep an eye on your weight. The other thing is physical activity. Most of these people who are living to be 100 years old are very, very active. They either exercise on a daily, uh, they're doing either weight training or some type of stretching, yoga, they're walking, they're jogging, they're staying active. Your, your system has to stay active. The moment that it stops being active, everything slows down and, and the signals kind of get crossed. You know, is it, are we shutting down? Or, you know, what's going on? What's gotten, going on? But as long as you can stay active, then you keep your body functioning properly. We have um, systems in place in our body to, to help us prevent getting cancer. But unfortunately, our lifestyles don't allow these systems to function the proper way. So if you're sitting at a desk all day, you're, you know, you're not able to move around. Your muscles can't help and assist your lymphatic system, which is the uh, system that helps to remove toxins and damage and dead cells from your body. 
it's the lymphatic system that is responsible mostly for keeping your body cancer free but the 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 problem well i won't say the problem the one drawback is that it's not a self-pumping system and therefore it needs your assistance uh, to do its job and the only way that we can get our lymph nodes to pump out the lymph fluid is by by moving you know when our muscles move when when those muscles are, are moving con contracting and restricting like that they are you know causing the lymph nodes to pump we have lymph nodes uh, in various places uh, breast area down in our groin area in our legs and in various places in our bodies all in our faces and what they do is like I said they're responsible for removing toxins and bacteria dead cells that will otherwise cause our systems to fail but we have to help them keeping active also keeps your heart in good um, shape as you get older your heart thickens and the arteries thicken and that's what causes high blood pressure and uh, hypertension all those things that people have um, you know, heart issues come from that. It, it naturally gets thicker, but if you can keep active and keep it, you know, pumping and everything, it will slow down that thickening process and keep you, keep your heart uh, functioning a little better and not at a slow rate, but at a regular steady rate and keep your blood. You know you need blood for your octa to, to pump oxygen to your brain, so your brain has to stay active too when you're, when you're exercising, it needs that blood. So another common denominator that these uh, centenarians, that's what they call, uh, share is that they are still physically intimate. Um, the oxytocin does wonders on the body and the brain, and the physical activity does wonders on the body as well and keeps your weight managed. You know, you can lose up to, I guess it's about 200 calories uh, being physically intimate. But of course you wanna practice safe sex because just because you're old doesn't mean that you can't um, contract something. So uh, physical intimacy. And, and the next and, and possibly the last thing is being happy and social. Uh, the thing that they really shared was their social life. They were very involved with different groups, different family members, uh, church organizations, anything that kept them in a group of people. Uh, they kept in touch with their peers, they either joined a gym or a yoga group, like I said, but they're, they're social. And by being social, it keeps them happy that happiness transfers into, you know, happy thoughts, happy feelings, and, you know, when you're feeling happy, you, you look happy, and you are happy. You want to take care of your body better, and you just want to be happy. But um, another thing was smoking. Do not smoke. Smoke robs your body of hydration. It also taxes all of your organs because it, it introduces uh, the wrong type of carbon into your body. As we go further on into the series, we're gonna be talking about carbon in our body, but it's the wrong type. You don't want that in your body. So uh, it also breaks down your skin. That's one of the symptoms of, of, of aging. Your skin starts to dry out, but like I said, if you just follow those things, eat well, hydrate, exercise, you know, uh, whether it's personal exercise or, you know, two people exercise, whatever it is, stay active, stay fit, and stay happy, people. Be happy. And if you follow those couple of uh, habit changes, you are sure to live a long, happy, and healthy life. So again, thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed my video, please like it. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel so that you can um, get the videos in the series hot off the press. Thank you again for watching and blessings.